The next value scale I'm going to attempt is going to use analogous colors. So analogous colors are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. So I have red as my main color. So I'm going to turn my adjacent color wheel in the middle here, whether you are using your homemade version or you are using the printed out copy. I'm going to turn that adjacent wheel to my red, so right now it's in the middle. And this helps us identify colors next to each other. So my options can vary. I have, if I just look at the primary and secondary colors, purple, red, and orange. There is, if I make a slight adjustment, and again, I'm going to move this up, so I'm just looking at primary, secondary colors. Red, orange, and yellow would be adjacent colors. I could go this way also, and that red, purple, and blue would be adjacent. But what I'm looking for when I'm looking at these adjacent colors is for ones that create light, medium, and dark values. So looking here... With red in the middle, if I were to use red and the purple and orange adjacent colors, then orange is lighter than red, so it would be my lighter value. Red would be my medium value. Purple would be my darker value. If I swing this adjacent wheel in this direction, and again, this one, it's not quite as large of a division, but I'm looking at these three connecting. Red, orange, and yellow. Yellow is definitely the lightest. Orange would be medium. Red would be darkest. So I'm going to try them both out. I'm going to divide my next row of value scales in half once again. And again, I'm just I'm not measuring, I'm just kind of judging the distance between ruler and pencil line. It's a little crooked, it's a little crooked, as long as I get about a half division. So for this, I'm going to need, in one value scale, yellow and orange, MI 324, and I'm going to try orange, my red 324. And let me find a purple here. So I have this color. And my set didn't have too many oranges. In fact, that's really the only true orange color. It does have a couple yellows. But this one seemed the closest to my traditional color wheel yellow. And I'm looking to see if there are any other purple looking colors that seem more like a traditional purple. Let's try that one. So I'm going to color swatch these first because that could be a more of a blue. So I'm going to once again pull out my scrap piece of paper. Yes, that seems more of a blue. I think that will work best. Okay. Put my swatch away. So now that I determined my colors, I'm going to do something similar to what I did here where I pulled out pencils of a similar red U in that I'm going to now use my analogous color. So I'm going to start with yellow. For this top one, I'm going to do my yellow, orange, and red value scale. And I'm going to color yellow, but this time I'm going to go ahead and stretch it all the way across.
Now the reason why with this value scale using the analogous colors of red, orange, and yellow that I stretched the yellow all the way across, notice I did ease up on pressure as I went, is because red and yellow make orange and my red should cover up over top of any little tiny light coating of yellow I put on here and not affect the red color too much. So I'm going to take my orange and start in the middle. And since it's going to be my medium value, I'm going to apply heavy pressure with this one in the middle. So I've applied orange with a heavier pressure in the middle. I lightened up on that pressure to kind of make a yellowish orange. Then I did put a small light coating of orange over top of the yellow. Again, I'm just trying to help them kind of blend together to look like a value scale of a light, medium, and dark value. So now on this one, I'm going to apply my red heavy and lighten up on the pressure as I come across. So there is a value scale using analogous colors of yellow, orange, and red. So I am going to write down the colors. 316, 318, and of course my 324. Now I'm going to try the same thing down below here, but this time I'm going to be using orange, red, and purple. Now since purple has blue in it, and orange and blue are complementary colors, remember they are opposite each other on the color wheel, that means I'm most likely not going to bring my orange over underneath where purple would be because of that blue pigment in the purple. Since I'm working at value scales, for this one, I want to try to keep the vibrancy of the purple to see what it looks like with the red. But do know you could have that as an option. Our next value scale will involve complementary color mixes. So that is something that you could want. If you really want to have a dark tone and not worry about the brightness of it and you don't mind the color maybe being dulled down, then putting the orange underneath the purple would work for that. So for this one, though, I want to try to keep as much of the vibrancy of the purple and red mixing together and the red and orange mixing together. So I'm going to start with my orange as my lighter value. My red will be my medium and my purple will be my dark. So I'm not going to bring orange all the way across. I'm going to bring it over into the second box to mix with red. Okay, and there's that version. So I did add a little touch of red over my orange. I did add a little touch of red over my purple. Um, since I do want it kind of look like a value scale of this red getting darker and lighter, but only with color to help with that, um, I thought this purple was just a little bit too vibrant, needed a little bit of the red added to it so it had kind of a more natural step of this 
value of red and the value darkening because purple was added to it. And then when I looked on this side, I thought the same thing. I wanted it to look like this color of red, but it was lightning because of the mixture of orange into it. So that's why I went ahead and added a little bit of red on top of the orange here and a little bit of red on top of the purple here. So instead of being a true purple and a true orange for my light and dark value, it's a darker version of red purple with more purple in it than red, a lighter version of red purple with more red than purple. My red is my medium tone, a red orange with more red than orange, and a red orange with more orange than red. So there's a couple of ways of using analogous colors to create value. And this would be a nice way in which you can use color and value to create form on objects that may have that natural coloration to it. Thinking, looking at this right away, I think of the possibilities of like apples or some sort of fruit where sometimes the skin does change from a red to a orange or yellowish color. So this might be a way in which you can both show form on the apple plus that color of the skin variation. So I'm going to again label what colors I used. And I'm ready to move on to the next value scale.